Hi guys, Kai here and welcome back. This is episode 177 of the FIFA 17 My Player Career. And as I mentioned in yesterday's episode, we are very, very close now to the end of this series. Sunday, in fact, is going to be the day of the final upload of FIFA 17 um, content on this channel. Now, I think actually there will be one more video on Wednesday or Tuesday, which is a match day live episode for Arsenal versus Doncaster in the League Cup. Uh, so I think that actually will be the last official FIFA 17 video on the channel. But for the my player, uh, Sunday will be the final episode. So what we're going to do in today's episode, as I mentioned yesterday, it is going to be a normal one. Uh, but towards the end, we are going to start skipping through some of the league games and maybe some of the cup games too. And uh, we'll just do the quick highlights of Kai's goals if he actually gets any. I'm sure he would. He's in pretty decent form right now. Uh, so as I said, we're going to start normal and then we will progress on to just the highlights of Kai's goals. And then tomorrow, I think that is when we're going to be starting the highlights of his goals and then some um, Champions League action as well. So we will finish the series with the Champions League. Hopefully it's going to be in the final and hopefully, of course, we can be lifting that trophy. And then once all the action, all the football is over, we'll go through the summary of Kai's career and go through all the clubs that he's played with, all the stats that he's had as well along the way. Now, I think he's actually approaching 500 um, appearances in total. He might have even reached that already, and which is quite some feat, actually, for saying that we started this, uh, what, just under a year ago. So pretty insane series. I'm pretty sure we can do that better next year. And that is whether we want to continue on such a long series or not. Or maybe we'll, we'll do a couple of my plays next year, maybe, you know, splitting down a little bit. But we'll wait and see how we get on with the first one, which starts in just over a week's time. Yeah, but let's continue on then in today's episode. As you can see, we are already leading one goal to nil. We're not even at the second half yet. This is a cup game. It is the National Cup in France. And we are leading by that one goal to nil. Can we progress on? Try and grab ourselves a second before the half-time interval. Kai's hovering around the edge of the area. He wants it. He gets the ball. Nice little pass there. And he's going to get the assist as well. Great finish there. Who was it that finished? I'm not entirely sure who that is. Uh, but it was a good finish in the end. 9.4, I think that's um, Kai's rating right now with that assist. Look at this nice little touch it was, just a little deft touch, boom. And he wasn't even looking when that goal went in either. And so cracking finish there from Edward. There we go. It is Edward who gets the goal for PSG. Then two goals to nil. And we're jumping into the second half with that two goal lead. And we just need to get the ball back, try and push forward. Can we get an early goal in the second half? Massive gap on this near side. Kai saw it, manages to find his man. And now he's waiting outside the area again. Plays it through. And good passing play. And another perfect goal there for Paris Saint-Germain. It's now three goals to nil. Kai probably could have took on the shot himself there with the finesse effort. Yeah, but he decided to just play it through the small gap. And then an easily teed off pass. And boom. Easy finish there. Goalkeeper probably should have done better to be honest. But we're going to take it. It is Andres with his first National Cup goal of the season. And now we are going into the final minute of this match with that three-goal lead. We're still pushing for another. Kai plays it onto this near side. And does get that one somehow. It was a poor pass, but Kai stepped back, wins it, and gets hold of that one. Oh, I thought that one was going to fly into the top corner, but it hits the woodwork. Bounces out, and there is the final whistle. In this cup match, it is PSG who progress through to the next round. Kai couldn't get himself on the score sheet, but he did get himself to assist. Finishes the game with a 9.3 final match rating. And that's going to take us on into the next one, which is a bit of pretty big game for Paris Saint-Germain in League One. It is against Olympic Lyon, who's going to come out on top of this one. I'm sure it is going to be the Paris side, but you never know. Lyon have a decent side. Not entirely sure who still plays for them right now. I mean, God knows what year it is, but I'm sure they've still got decent players in their squad. And will they causes any trouble hopefully not i think the title is almost already wrapped up here for paris Saint-Germain. i think that's one of the reasons as well where we can just skip through some of them once we get into tomorrow's episode i think we'll be skipping through quite a lot as we push towards the end of the season yeah but still nil nil not really much to say right now only six minutes gone so we're going to jump into the second half Still goalless, nice little interception there from Kai, twice in fact, so wins the ball back for PSG. 
He's currently on 6.5 rating, so not the best of um, games so far for Kai. But he is in possession right now. Waits for the run. His first pass was blocked. He's going to go all the way himself. He loses possession again, though. And somehow comes out of that with the ball again. The cross comes in just outside the six-yard box. It's Vigal who pops it into the back of the net. And PSG finally do break the deadlock. And a little bit of luck there from PSG going forward. Is that the captain's armband on his on his wrist? Or is that actually like a... Oh, what do you call it? A sweatband. Never actually noticed that before. That he's been wearing one of those. But I'm just probably blind. But that's a nice finish. Just outside the six-yard box. As I said, Julian Vigo scoring his second league goal of the season. And now PSG are looking good for another three points. And obviously a step closer to becoming the French champions. If they're not already, of course. I'm not actually... Had a look at the league table for a while. We probably should do that maybe in today's episode or tomorrow's. But look at this. We have given away a penalty kick. So a chance here for Leon to level things up. We don't concede many goals, I've got to say. Uh, since we've been in the high 80s uh, ratings and obviously really know how to play the game, we've not really conceded many goals. I think when we do start FIFA 18, we're going to start on legendary straight from the kickoff. Um, I know quite a few of you... Uh, wanted me to do that in this, but the AI just weren't good enough, to be fair, playing Legendary and Kai playing as a striker. I found myself coming back into uh, midfield quite a lot, and then obviously that limits your chances of going forward. But because we are going to be starting the next um, series as a cam, I think we can get away with playing on Legendary because we will, we will be able to fall back if needed um, into a deeper midfield role and even push forward when... Uh, required to as well so I think legendary will be a good start for us as we go through and finally take the lead once again less than 10 minutes to play PSG 2-1 up now and don't know where Kai's running off to <laughs> ran off, off towards the the touchline there but nice little sliding finish underneath the outreaching goalkeeper PSG lead two goals to one and it's Villanueva who scores the second goal for Paris Saint-Germain as we push forward again. Can we try and grab another? Kai's just hovering a little bit. And is he going to get to that? No, he is not. Leon are going to get this ball clear. But is it going to be enough time for any more action? The final whistle is very, very close. And there it is. The referee blows for the end. Another three points in the bag for PSG. A 7.1 final match rating there for Kai. So not the best appearances for him. And he wasn't able to get an assist or a goal, but we're still going to take the three points nevertheless. And now we're going to jump into the next game. We are away from home from this one. And as you can see, we are on January 25th, 2028. And so that means the January transfer window is very close to closing. And we're not looking for a move away, of course, evidently, because we are ending the series here with PSG, which is a big club to end it. So it's a nice way to go all out, ending a career in PSG. And you never know. We might be back here with the club in FIFA 18, depending where we start, depending where transfers take us. Uh, you never know, because PSG are already splashing the cash, of course. They're already going to have themselves a, a top quality side going into FIFA 18 with Mbappe and Neymar making the starting 11 most probably every single game. And then, obviously, they've got Cavani and Di Maria as well, so they've got a fantastic squad. Uh, so wait and see if they make any more signings in the coming seasons. And there is the first goal of the game. This one took a while to come. As you can see, just over 10 minutes to play. And Kai does break the deadlock. He is there, blowing a kiss to the camera. And now PSG look to be going through to the next round of this competition. It is the League Cup in France. And boom, look at on the volley, on the edge of the six-yard box. We'll take that. One goal to nil. That might just be the only goal of the game. It's Kai's fourth cup, uh, League Cup goal of the season. So he is enjoying this competition right now. Uh, is he going to get any more? If we can get ourselves all the way to the final, I'm not entirely sure what round this is, I've got to say. Uh, but he is pushing forward, looking for a second. Can he get it? He can't. The goalkeeper forced to parry it. And uh, maybe one last chance. No, that shot was blocked. And it is going to go out of play for a corner kick. So maybe one last effort here for Paris Saint-Germain to double their lead. I don't think there's going to be a counter-attack by the opposition. And Kai controls it, but there are three defenders around him, and they do manage to get the ball clear. So the final whistle blows. PSG with another the victory. Kai getting the only goal of the match, finishing the game with a 9.2 rating. And as I said, 
and um, that is the normal part of the episode over and done with and uh, we do progress through into the final where we're going to be taking on Bordeaux they knocked out Marseille three goals to nil in the other semi-finals so now we're going to start highlighting the rest of the league games maybe some of the cup games too and uh, we will continue to play the Champions League games as long as Kai's chosen for them of course but for the rest of the league games we're just going to highlight Kai's goals as you can see he goes through there and scores after nine minutes to give PSG a one goal lead he is in pretty decent form right now it's a shame that we've got to end it with him being in so much form and the numbers just keep growing with his goal scored etc it would have been nice to you know, go to another club and end it I really wanted to end it at Sporting to be honest back in Portugal where we started this series but it wasn't able to happen so never mind now we're still in the same game as you can see we are leading by one goal to nil still Kai if he scores another goal I think that's going to be his 20th league goal of the season and I can't remember exactly the tally that we gave Kai at the start of the year I think it's about 25 goals and that is a cracking effort he won the ball just ahead of the defender I thought the defender was actually going to win there he win that one there but Kai was able to get there a fraction of a second ahead of him look at this and he smacks it into the back of the net and boom into the back of the net as I said for his is that to confirm his 20th goal it is that is his 20th league goal of the season then for Kai pretty decent number there a good tally for Kai he is around 30 years old now and yeah, we'll actually find out how old he is in the final episode on Sunday as we go through the rest of his stats and we're playing in the next one this one is away from home and Kai going through here and that's a poor effort but I think he got taken down he did indeed so just before half time PSG have a good chance to go in front one goal to nil but I'm sure it is going to be Kai steps up to take this one to hopefully give Paris Saint-Germain that lead yeah definite free kick there or penalty at least and here we go then Kai steps up he takes it underneath the goalkeeper you can't miss with those uh, just slightly um, left or right of the goalkeeper with a little bit of pace and it goes straight underneath him so even if they dive the right way that happens straight into the net so easy penalty there for Kai it's his 21st league goal of the season we're going to jump into the next game in fact this one is a cup game uh, this is the National Cup of France and I'm sure PSG are going to be the favourites going into this one and here is Kai in possession we've actually just beat this team a second ago didn't we in the league um, but let's see if we can do the same in the cup Kai nice bit of skill there finesses it into the top corner and another goal in the bag for that man and he is looking good on the stroke of half time PSG do take the one goal lead and look at that beautiful I think that's the only skill move I actually know on this game yeah, but it always works out nicely and that is his first National Cup goal of the season, in fact. And so now we're going to end the episode with some snow action. We're already leading one goal to nil. Kai didn't get that goal. Um, but let's see. We've got seven minutes to play. And then, of course, it is going to be Kai, who does score again. But in what minutes? Be a nice way to end. I think we've won every single game, haven't we, in this one? It's been quite some time since Kai's actually played in a, a loss in the league. And that's nicely played through. Here is Kai, and that is the goal. In the 86th minute, Kai grabs the goal. That is going to guarantee the three points as well for Pro Saint-Germain. And we are going to be beating Marseille. Two goals to nil in the snow. So pretty cold here in France. So thanks for watching, guys. Leave a like if you did like the episode. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next one.